uh, static shortcuts. So let's just go ahead and create dynamic shortcuts. Um, it's it's very simple. It's just exactly what you're doing here. You need to have a ID. You need to have a short label. You need to have a long label and an icon. So these are the four mandatory fields that you need to add. And it's it's there in your latest Android SDK. So first of all, create a shortcut manager. Let's get system service. Shortcut manager class. Okay. Now this is like the shortcut manager exactly how your outer shortcuts are. So now just go ahead and create single shortcuts as in the shortcut object here. So firstly have this ID out there. So I'll just make an ID two in this case. And okay, I'm sorry. Again, we need to have the other relevant important so it's like short label that you need to have. So I'll ask I'll add dynamic two. You need to have long label to this so long dynamic two and then you need to have an icon to this so let's just have it like uh, drawable and I actually have a selector which will have an enable and this well let's just keep it this way and then an action to it What did I do? Oh, sorry. Okay, so intent can be uh, your intent activity like you have like I've mentioned here. So it will open this activity or let's just go ahead and create a web view uh, open a web view so it can be just like your terms and conditions or your new features as in new promo codes and offers that you have in your application. So let's just open and So that's most of it that exactly that what you had mentioned here it's just these three characters these four values and this so you don't need to declare any categories because it's, it's you are that's an object and now you just need to add the shortcut to the shortcut manager. So list. Uh, yeah, I guess this is most of it that you need to know to add the dynamic shortcuts. Let's just run this and uh, we need we hope to see in another shortcut in our menu in a launcher which is which should be called as dynamic 2 and long dynamic 2. Let's just check this out. Okay, cool. So we have this label long label here and dy long dynamic. 
So clicking on this should just have present install. Are you serious? Oh, there's no. I've not just okay. Let me just see that. Cool. So this will this is what we wanted. So just it will just open the browser. Again, let's just long click it and create a short value to it, and we get a dynamic to label to it. Yeah. So this is so uh, again uh, you should not miss this part also. Let's just uh, just do multiple shortcuts here. Okay. And I T three. Three, three so this again as the code suggests it should add another dynamic one to it okay Cool. So we got the third one. So now the the activity, the shortcuts that you have made dynamically can also be be uh, we can we can have operations over it. Yes, and you can just change things or uh, things change things that of the shortcuts that have been dynamically created. So suppose there's a feature called favorites, which is available for a logged in users and which is not available for a logged in user. So you can just dynamically change those values. For that, you need to just have the shortcut managers, and then uh, let's just say you need to disable any of the any of the shortcuts. So you can just go ahead and disable shortcuts, and in this case, you need to have or everything, every operations on the shortcuts are always done based on this string ID. So disable if you want to do it. Lot of stuff. So let's just yeah. so it's like ID three. Will be disabled right now. We have not added anything for the disable stuff here, but ID3 will be disabled. So let's just go ahead and okay. But after this, uh, you just mentioned one, forgot one thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So yeah, just go ahead and run this. I'll, I'll talk about it later. Yeah, so our dynamic three has been gone because we have just disabled disabled it. So you can you can also do many other operations like you can just go ahead and click it and just check. Uh, there's always a feature called reporting short report shortcut usage, which will which will help you to know how the analytics of how how things are and how many people are using it and how you can get those values from the resources from the OS resources. Um, yeah, this is this is most of it. As in, again, one thing do uh, I've what I have not followed is I've just given one direct uh, resource to it. But it's always recommended to have a have a selector to it, which 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 follows enables enable true and disable true. Because once if you have static or dynamic ones, uh, sorry, dynamic uh, uh, shortcuts to it, so you can you can change the resources and make it look. Make it look as a disabled one. So that's one thing that I'll recommend to. Do. Um, yeah, that's most of it. I that's that's what I wanted to convey. Uh, please 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 uh, try it out. And if you have any any issues or any questions, do let me know in the comments or mail me on my blog, and uh, I'll get back to you in the best possible way. So that's it. Uh, all the best. Thank you.